With the bridge largely intact, we're looking forward now to September 19th, launch day, weather permitting. A look along the east side of the causeway on Friday afternoon revealed a largely deserted scene. We'll talk about the single figure later, it's important, but notice how tidy everything is as we approach the weekend. Priestley have a well-deserved reputation for keeping sites clean and well-organised. They're invariably safer that way. We'll consider work on the plinths on either side in a moment, but let's take a look at the bridge. It's important going into the weekend that everything valuable is stored away securely. On the west side, with the last of the fixed structure gone, it's looking pretty clean. Over in the east, there continues to be evidence of forms being prepared for concrete. And note the two orange reference marks. It's my guess that they show centre and level of pedestals on which the bridge will rest. A brief visit to the bridge was paid by a representative of Utilities Kingston. Unsurprising, there's some critical infrastructure here. Confirmation of concrete to come came in the form of a delivery of rebar to both sides. The west side was the first to receive the shipment, but it wasn't long before the truck appeared in the east. Some of you may already be wondering, what about that lone figure we saw earlier on the east side? Well, I'm only speculating, but it would come as no surprise to learn that the manufacturer of the bridge, Acro, would want to inspect it before it's approved for use. I'll close this update there with a look at my favourite ferry, the Wolf Islander 4. Thanks for watching.